The inaugural Thrive Women Summit gathered over 200 women from various sectors to discuss their potential contributions to society. I did, I did business enterprise where I went to school and I remember telling the program director who was interviewing me that if you educate me, it's like educating all of the people where I'm from. Uganda's legal framework supports women's participation in leadership through policies like the 1995 Constitution and the Local Government Act of 1997. We have varying degrees of experience, of skill, of awareness, of knowledge. So I think both are needed. Do we all have access? But now if the tree is for all of us, how do we make sure that all of us are being nourished by the virtue that we have access. And that's why I'm saying it's a continuing process and I don't think it's either or, it is equity and equality. Faith Fetaru fronts the Women Powerhouse and its Thrive Women Summit to empower women and girls of different backgrounds. As the Women Powerhouse, through our activities, we have different segments of activities. For example, we have mentorships for the younger ones so that the well-experienced ladies come in and provide mentorship for the younger ones through some of our sessions, both online and physical workshops. And also for everyone holistically, we usually expose them to opportunities, that whether it's jobs, scholarships and everything. And then for the well-experienced ladies, now, for example, this event, we have those kinds of speakers who are going to, who, who are basically speaking to that kind of category. The collective efforts of women leaders and advocates drives change and ensures that women's voices are heard and respected in decision-making processes. Wadulo Mark Arnold, UBC News.